Later, wasn't it? Uh, I guess we do Cinderella. See, uh, when I was waiting my turn, uh, the, 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 there were three barbers there. One of the barbers, I overheard him talking about cars with his customer. But it so happened that um, that was the first chair that was available to me. So I got in that same chair with the same barber, the one that I'd mm -hmm. been hearing talking <laughs> cars. So. I brought up the subject of cars. I, I said, uh, couldn't help, I couldn't help but overhear that, that you were talking about cars. And I began to talk about those uh, stripped down Model T Fords that I'd seen playing polo when I was a little old fella. And he picked up on it. He said, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, ooh, with roll bars and, and bumper boards and stuff. <laughs> and uh, I said, Listen, you seem to know so much about that, you must have been one of those drivers. How do you think I knew him? <laughs> That's just This thought. man, I had, not knowing it, I had seen him out there <laughs> driving his hmm. Polo Ford when I was a little toddler. That's amazing. That is and true. And years went by and here I am sitting in his barber chair. <laughs> It's a small world. And he told me uh, uh, some more about uh, what it was like to be one of those drivers. Not only did they have all those roll bars on the, on the car and these bumper boards on the side, but uh, he said they, they also would tie a little cable to um, kind of a little chain to, to the big toe and the other end to the ignition switch. So if the car rolled over and they had to dive out, they could pull the switch off and keep the thing from catching fire. <laughs> that is just so bizarre. It's like, how dangerous is that? And and uh, and then, of course, I was remembering how I'd see those things roll over and, and crash through the fence and bump each other. <laughs> These guys were nuts. <laughs>